Hello everyone, I'm Oltek and I'm going to be playing Prison Architect. Uh, Prison Architect just recently was fully released, as in it's now version 1.0. Uh, I've been playing Prison Architect for a really long time and I'm really excited, so uh, yeah, let's get this started. Apparently there's campaigns now, so I'll play the first campaign, I guess. Fancy cutscenes. <laughs> the cinematic effect is amazing. That said, this is the Death Row campaign, this, uh, this one was already in the game, it was the tutorial. At least, well, something like it was in the, was the tutorial, not sure if they changed it. Maybe they did, who knows, I haven't played this. This is a tough one. There's a prisoner incarcerated at this facility who's been convicted of a double murder and sentenced to death. That's where we come in. We've been contracted to construct an execution chamber in time for the guy's big day. This is where I want a new facility to be built. The first step with any project like this is to construct the building itself with enough space inside to fit an execution room and a holding cell. So let's get started constructing a new building here. We will also need a new an entrance to a new execution facility. Build a large real yell door into the south wall. So yeah, this is the same as the tutorial. The tutorial has always been there. Ooh, look at that. You can now disable light placement. Oh, there's so many new things. Um, I have an action. I haven't played Person Architect for mm, I want to say like four versions. So there's some stuff I don't know how to use. And there's also whatever they added in version one. Your workmen now are responsible for the construction of buildings. They'll collect the steel and concrete from the storeroom and take it to the construction site. They'll use those raw materials to build the foundation and framework for your new building. This is the slowest part of the construction, so you can plan ahead when building new facilities. While we wait, take a look around, use WASD or the arrow keys to move, to move around, and use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out. So yeah, this is exactly the same as the tutorial. That said, last time I played the tutorial was like... Ooh, I don't know, half a ten? So... <laughs> but it has changed, but yeah, the basics is pretty much the same. Like, for example, uh, that wouldn't exist, like... Ooh, there's cell quality! Look at that! Cell qualities, huh? It requires an entrance. Door, I guess I'll put it where it tells me to. Speed up the game a little bit. Where's the kitchen? Wow, well, there's the kitchen. Okay. Just exploring the default prison, I guess. Inside the building, I want to sell an execution room. Partition the space by construction brick walls. Pr brick walls, it doesn't get brick walls. Concrete walls. There we go. Hopefully, those work. I ain't giving him no brick wall. Yeah, they work. Okay. 
Well done, workers. Now add larger gill doors to those by the walls. You can rotate the object before placing them. Beep. Beep. And fast forward. That's looking good. We now need to designate rooms within those spaces. Designate the cell in the smaller area where our condemned inmate will live. Then designate the execution room itself in the larger area. Not sure if execution rooms do anything. I want. Last time I played, execution room did nothing, so. They were just part for the tutorial. Maybe they added features for it now that it's fully released. Those new rooms have requirements before they can become functional. The cell needs a bed and a toilet. The execution room requires an electric chair. Bed, toilet, electric chair. I feel like the descriptions are new too. I don't remember descriptions being in the game. Maybe they were. I don't know. You know what it is when they release a new version of your game. You just think everything's new. No, oh, incoming call. That's the essentials taken care of. But there are still a few improvements you could make. It's up to you though. These aren't strictly required. It depends how much you care about your prisoners and their environment. The cell itself could be improved with an outward facing window and a small bookshelf. And the facility will look better with a higher quality floor material like wooden floorboards or mosaic tiles. Mosaic. Uh, outside you could add some lighting and a paved pathway if you think it needs it. There's our inmate, there's the victim. You will die. This is the man in question, Edward uh, Romsney, a teacher once, would you believe? It's not our place to decide if he deserves this, the law has made that decision. We're just here to do our job. Once you're satisfied the facility is ready, you can begin, you can begin the person transfer to his new cell. Simply click on the Polaroid in his cell to initiate the transfer. I'm not sure if you can transfer prisoners in the normal game. I don't think you could before. Not sure if they added it in version 1. Ah, I haven't seen the change log, so I have no idea what they added. Don't shed one tear for this guy. He's a stone cold killer. Guilty as charged. He even confessed, when I hear his description of what he did, it's juicy stuff. It was around 11 p.m. Okay, 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 let's do this. It was around 11 p.m. The lights were already on. I knew she was at home. I knew I'd catch you to here. Edward, I don't. Just don't. What are you going to do? He has a really small dick for it to be covered by just the elbow. Just saying. I mean... <laughs> Click 
Pharaoh's day, if you ask me, deserves every bolt he's going to get. All men deserve forgiveness, even him. Are you so sure in yourself that you can deal out such final judgment? Catching your wife with another man is no excuse for what he did. And he went there with a loaded gun, knowing he'd find them together. That's double premeditated murder. He's done nothing but cooperate with the authorities. The state is making an example out of him. If he'd committed his mile a hundred miles north, he'd be looking at life imprisonment instead. How is that justice? Do you want a guy like this running free? I'll sleep just fine at night when I know he's gone. Good work so far. However, there's one problem. The execution room isn't functioning yet because he doesn't have any power. We need to get it. We need to connect it to the electrical supply. Half of the prison has no power. We are now viewing the prison in utilities mode, which shows us the electrical wiring layout for the entire prison. Each building in the prison is connected to the power grid by these thick underground electrical cables. Power is provided to the prison by this substation, which draw electricity from the national grid. As you can see, the entire wing of the prison cells is without power. All of the lights are out. To fix this problem, we need to switch into utilities mode to understand why the lights are without power. The cable's not there, I can tell you that already. The nearest electrical cables are too far away. Our engineers can complete the wiring for this area. Extend the electrical cables nearby to cover the, this wing of the prison. While I'm at it, uh, let's just... Those are cheap. Very cheap. Do, do. I'm going to make this execution cell the fanciest. I'm sorry, I just have to. Let me go. You. I should probably disable Steam messages since um, they can be a bit annoying. Some light. Okay. Now you tell it's small. Okay. You up to here. Coming call. Lights aren't the only thing that needs power. You need an electric chair. Does too. Use the power cables to connect the execution facility to the power grid. The electric chair itself is a special type of electrical item. It requires its own dedicated power line. You'll need to connect it up directly with the mains cable. I don't know why they call it special, like... The lights should be the special ones since only the lights don't need the cable to go into them. So. Lights are more special than the chair. I'm just saying. Oh, look at that now. Doesn't that look so fancy? Seriously, whoever built this prison. Like, what the hell is that? It's just a random room. 
can look at that. Two random rooms. We are almost done, I think. We should test, test the new execution room at least once before we try to use it though. I'm just going to turn it on for a few seconds, make sure everything is okay. And power will go out, because you know... Obviousness. Oh, there we go, we have no power. Well, that then look, that well, let's try that again, why don't we? Well, that didn't work. Looks like we need to do too much power and trip the uh, circuit breaker in the power station. The whole prisoner is dark. We're going to need more juice to be able to handle the power spike that the electric chair generates. First, we need to turn the power back on. This is a two step process. Switch the power station back on by clicking on it and selecting switch on in the menu that appears. Then build three more capacitors so we have enough enough power capacity to handle the electric chair. Once you've done that, test the electric chair by clicking on it and selecting switch on, on in the menu. Capacitors are expensive, man. Come on, people, build those. And switch on. We don't need the other one. Switch on. Well done, I believe we are finished with this job. What happens now is out of your, our hands. We did a professional job and what's, that's important in our business. Try not to worry about what happens next. Ooh, a cinematic, I'll be quiet. Can I help you? Are you looking for forgiveness? I don't know, I have to do something. I can't live with the things I've done. You have to turn yourself in. Whatever you've done, you cannot abate the consequences. You will never be able to live with yourself until you face up to your past. I want to go back. I want to forgive her. I want her to forgive me. God will forgive you, no matter what you have done, if you ask him to. But you must answer for your crimes in the eye of the law. There is no other way. It is time, Edward. You have done the right thing, even though this world will not forgive you for it. You will be with God soon, and he will have a final judgment on you. He's doing it. He's doing that. Edward Rumsney. You have been found guilty of, count of two counts of murder in the first degree. 
The penalty is death. Do you have anything to say? Susan, I'm sorry. Okay guys, so I guess it's finished now. Uh, this was episode 1 on Prison Architect. This was just a tutorial. Um, next episode we'll be playing the campaign number 2. Mm, hopefully it has a little bit more action than the tutorial. And yeah, uh, see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.